Hey Scumbria, today I want to share with you Ethan's 2021 youth turkey hunt. And not just the hunt, the time that we spent together learning about hunter safety, scouting, and the great time a father and son can have during a youth turkey hunt. In order to participate in the youth turkey hunt, Ethan had to attend an online youth turkey hunting seminar and pass a seven hour hunter safety course. And yes. This video never gets old, by the way. <laughs> yes. Right? <laughs> Here's Ethan doing his hunter safety for yes, turkey. I shoot this bird. All right, what about this guy? Shoot. That's a dead bird right there. He starts coming into you on. You've all seen, day. I can wing shoot. Get this ready. thing's going You're this slow. Pointing down. Step Three seven. hours. After storage, run a clean patch. On a computer. Four firing. Step eight. Remove all excess. So boarding. Yeah, I know. It's terrible. Next morning. Still doing. We spent an afternoon patterning his shotgun and practicing his marksmanship for the upcoming hunt. It's 25 to his car. Huh, perfect. It's 25 yards to the car. Hot! Safety's on? Yep. Ready? Right at the top of his head. Going hot. To the ooh. just covers the whole area. Mm. Prior to the hunt, we spent the last two days scouting. We found plenty of birds, but many of them were in unhuntable areas or people's backyards. So we've got two birds here, as you can see, right here. That is not a hen. That is a gobbler. And I think right here is either a tow drag or he's all puffed up. That right there. But that's a pretty decent sized bird there. And I think it looks like there's one. Two, and there's this guy up here, which is even bigger than all of them. Right here. We were exhausted, but we had a ton of fun. What are you doing? Do I? <laughs> you think that'll trick the turkeys that their friends were walking here? Yeah. Practicing for the big hunt, we even got up early to scout. We had a great time, laughed and joked, and finally we were able to find at least three birds that would be huntable for the next day. Oh, hey guys. So, this is the day before the youth turkey hunt. We've been scouting for two days now. I mean, including today, it's not the end of the day completely yet, so hopefully we can find another tom, but it's not looking that good. Only have three located toms, even though that's a lot for some of you guys or some of the viewers out there. That's not a lot for us, because usually we have a lot of turkeys, but I will not make you guys sit through this, and we'll skip to the new turkey day, and I'll see you guys there. So today was an unsuccessful turkey hunt, even though we had tons of fun, but you guys are suckers. Oh yeah, big bird. So we came out this morning. 
I was like, just after all the scouting we've done, I was like, please let us get a bird. We set up and we sit, we go immediately like off in the distance, really quick. And like, I'm like, is he moving? And he's coming in, he's coming in. Dad doesn't see him yet, but I can see his head. He just pops up. I can see the white thing, and and I can. All, Dad might not been able to feel. I can feel him and him going. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah, when he was drumming, I heard him going. Boom, boom. I was like, holy crap! And then finally, he was like, it wasn't the farthest bird. It was pretty close, actually. It was from here to like. What do you think? Right over there, like. 20, 20, 25 yards. It's pretty good. So I just put it right on. But the only reason why I'm calling it bubbles, people, you can put it in the comments below what it's actually called. I don't know the like the bubble looking things. Yeah. On here, I just saw some guy call it that in a video. So if you guys can't tell, I'm so happy that I just got my bird. Da -da 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 like I've been waiting for this all year, anyway. John. Lansbo? Yeah. I sent Lansbo a text. I gotta send texts all over the world in a few minutes. <laughs> Hello, mother. You're the shot, did you? Yeah, it was exactly six, and I heard the. I was like, what was that? I was like, oh, I wonder if that was Ethan killing a turkey. <laughs> yeah. It's a big bird, though. It's like. 22, it it's like 22, 23 pounds. It's a big bird. Nice. It's a pain in the butt to carry on my back, though. All right, let's see some turkey. Let's see his talons. <laughs> talons. Talons. Do the chickens have large talons? Oh. His spurs. Yeah. Was that an inch? He's, uh, this is it? the reason why people, when they're walking their dogs, they're like, nope, nope. It's a nice bird. A bird will attack a, a dog. You should see his little head swinging back and forth. <laughs> <laughs> the turkey's head is like, bleep, bleep, bleep. So it's the day after my youth hunt. We're doing my fan mount. We're at my grandma and grandpa's. It's a rainy day, so we got nothing better to do. No fishing, no hunting. So that's what we're doing. And it's good to do it because we've got nothing else to do. So the most difficult part about doing a fan mount is removing the flesh and the fat from the tail quills. Uh, you can do that with a scalpel and a little wire brush, like a little wire or a toothbrush. Um, it takes quite a bit of time and that's why we're doing this in time lapse. After that, we just use a little 20 mule team uh, borax to treat the feathers and the meat there so there wouldn't be any insect problems. Uh, in the past, I've always salted my tails, but we saw a guy on the internet who used Carbondo so we switched it up a little bit and instead we used some five minute epoxy and that helped us glue out the, the fan and get it in position so we could mount it on a wooden frame and then it would be ready to go on the wall. It's just starting to set. I could probably pick it up now. Right there. Uh-oh. What? It did better, too much of its job. It didn't get the whole back. I know, we're gonna put it in on the, with another thing. Oh, yeah. Stuff. We're finishing up the turkey tail. Luckily, master woodworker grandpa came down and helped us a little. <laughs> All right. I was gonna spend the, the, the day in my chair reading a book by the fire. And now he's helping us now out. I'm, I'm actually just defending my tools. So we're gonna clean up here and is this, is this the project's good? almost done. We didn't film the whole time because we didn't want to ruin the camera with the dust from the wood, wood equipment. So we'll get home and as you can see, 
We gotta get Ethan to bed for school tomorrow. So we're here after our maybe two and a half hours of work. It shouldn't really Two and a half hours? It's 8.29 and we like started, it took us four and a half hours. It's been like four hours, but it's a beautiful mount. Here it is. We got his shell, his beard, and it's here in the kitchen in a place of honor. Subscribe, like the video, and I'll see you guys in the next episode.